Information Technology, also known as MIS. Questions and comments on MIS, anybody? Can I just ask for clarification? Mr. Who, who's in charge of MIS? Myself. Christine. Oh, you're in charge of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Any other questions or comments on MIS? We have a... Uh, Mr. Walburn. So I'm sorry, I didn't raise my hand. Um, computer support up almost 40%. We go into that a little bit? A lot of that has to do with, um, over the last couple of years, we work, I've worked um, to reallocate some of the things. They didn't used to have the computer support, so they would just throw a lot of that stuff into supplies and expenses or repairs and maintenance. Replacement equipment, it was just kind of scattered all over for all your different licensing. So if you look at the details <coughs> section, it nope. literally has a breakdown of all the different um, licensing and security suites and firewalls and all of the breakdown there. So I think it's more since that budget overall is not necessarily up and nothing else is really down a whole bunch. I think a lot of it has to do with just more the reallocating of funds to better reflect where they are being spent from and where they best fit in this budget. So where in this area is the, uh, the Kansas? It's not. It's not in here? Where is it? The website was in the Warren article. Oh, it's Warren article Warren number. Article. No, it was already in. Oh, it was, already it was in Warren last article year. number 18 last year. That oh, was that's approved. right. Yep. Okay. And there's no support in the first year, yeah. so it's not in there. Oh, okay. It will be in here. It will go under computer support. Next um, year. The annual support once it goes into effect. But the first year of support is covered with the cost of the um, website with the design and stuff. Well, you signed the contract on Halloween. Right. On Halloween. Yeah. How appropriate. Uh, well, I sent you all a copy of the contract. That's correct, yep. And it was signed on Halloween. And um, so that would suggest that the term ends on Halloween of next year, which leaves two months of expenses related to that outsourcing activity. It's my impression that the support will not start, um, the support part of the contract won't start until the, upside, until the website is up and running. And therefore, <laughs> once the website is up and running, I. It's my understanding that the year for the support would start then, because it's literally, um, it's not okay. for the support in them building the website, because of course we're working with them um, and their design teams, and they have all different levels of individuals that are involved with the mm -hmm. uh, website. I think so the actual support contract will start once the website is up and we're using and have the ability to use support. We're not calling it for support right now. So I, I would guess that, that it would start when the um, website is up and running, we'll which see. is due to be May or June at this point. Okay, thank you. Any of next questions? year. Um, May or June of yes. 19, yes. So then I would think that the first payment would be in May or June of 2020. And therefore, as Brian was asking, it would be under the computer support okay. um, when you see the budget in front of you next year. Thank you. How much money is left, do you know, on that uh, Warren article number 18 of 2018, which... I didn't bring my financials with me, next, so I next don't have that. Next time, or yep. subsequently, you can send mm -hmm. me that. Any other questions, comments? Yeah, just, uh, I, I assume the network systems engineer, is that Paul? Who is right. the network? The network systems engineer is Paul, yes. And the IT technician, so these are both non-union positions? Correct, those are both non-union positions. Uh, Neither of them is new. There's been two full timers in there. Oh no, I, I while, no, so, I'm just yeah. making a statement. I'm oh, yeah, always around when I was on. I'm yeah, they're well both the, um those are both non union positions, the two of them. So we have a two point three nine percent uh on regular wages for them? That includes the two percent that they received with the non union this year, and then there is an adjustment in those wages and it's noted in bold there under regular wages for the MRI. To bring them halfway Run to that the, by me again. That includes the two percent that they got this year. The two percent that the non-union received right. in eighteen, yeah. Okay, and then I would guess it? the point three nine portion would be the adjustment that's noted on page ten in bold. It's saying that the 
The administration added the diff according to the MRA wage study, the network <coughs> system engineer is going to be moved to 3228 yeah, for a total of 458. So that yeah. the 458 dollars is making up the 0.39 percent. I guess is what I'm trying to. But if they've already got, I'm just trying to understand here. Mm -hmm. If they already got the two percent in 18, why yes. is it on next year's? Why is it on next year's? This is what you're projecting for next year. Because they have, they received a two percent increase in 18, yeah. so their wage in 18 is two percent higher. And so 19, another two percent. Um, not in this line, no. Well, I'm. Um, and I'm confused. It says 2.39. You you explained the 3.9, but where's the other 2%? The rate, the pay increase that they received in 2018. I don't, I don't, it's listed as a 2019 increase, though. I don't. Well, because their pay went up by 2% well, in we, 2000. We have, everybody's pay. We're very well aware of what pay went up, but there isn't anybody that hasn't. But anyway, so I'm just That's saying all, for the voters... Yeah that look at this. When I look at the 2019 proposed budget yes. and see 2.39% increase, I'm assuming that 2% is for 2019 too, no? No. Oh, first of all. Because it's over the 2018. Explain, Mr. Chairman, would you? Tell me when I'm wrong here. I'll try to make this simple. Uh, Tom management gave out raises, in this case to IT, using the current operating budget. Correct. Okay. When they projected out for next year's budget request, they incorporated that increase from the current budget, even though they probably, the money probably came from somewhere else, right? So, so uh, now they want to call it out as coming or being uh, appropriated for the, wa the wage itself, the salary itself, for 2019. I think what your, <coughs> what your previous objections were in other meetings were that that raise not so much is a problem in the proposed budget, but rather it's also incorporated in the default budget. That's where your problem stated when, when you were speaking more broadly Correct. at the last meeting. Yeah. And I think that's where you're trying to go tonight, right? It is in the default budget, the raise as well, right? Correct. Yeah. Because it's already been given. So it's just another example of what you were citing last week. Yeah, I, I think the way that I would explain that is in the, if you look at the regular wage line for 2018, that does not include 2%. Right. However, they were given 2% in 2018 mm -hmm. off of the merit line. Mm -hmm. And now that 2% is in their, is part of their salary. So when their salary is reflected for 2019, that's why it's saying it's 2% higher, or 2.39, but we're not you're talking about the 0.39 now. The 2% higher than what the line was in 18. But you said something very important, and I want okay. the people to watch the replay this meeting. Quote, the 2% was not part of their two eight, 2018 wage line, but they got it anyway. Because it was in the merit line, right. yes. Uh, or elsewhere. Or somewhere It was else. in the merit line. It was in the merit I'm line. very confident that it was in the merit line so because right. the Board of Selectmen, well, their 2%, but well, you asked a question, so I will finish answering it if you don't mind. The 2% on the merit line, when the Board of Selectmen gave out those 2%, the amount that they allocated to the non-union employees did not exceed the merit line in the budget. Mr. David, well, when we met today. <coughs> when we met today? Yeah. Yep. We had a very brief conversation. <clears throat> in the conversation, I asked about the default budget. Mm -hmm. And you gave me a copy at the time, so thank you. But it was my understanding, at least I, I thought, I, I think I said this to you, so I just need clarification, that's all. As I said earlier, I thought the default budget was supposed to be from last year's, but then you read the, the articles you know, and the law and the other thing, and they can be increased because of And I said that to you. And I thought you said to me, we don't do that, David. We don't move monies from one point to another. Because I said, well, if you didn't have money over here, you take it from some other place as long as you're within the budget. And I thought you said, we don't do that. I said, we Would do not make me? transfers. I said, it has not been the practice of the Board of Selectmen to make transfers from one line in the budget to a different line in the budget. That's what I was referring to. Okay, this is. It's uh, not a common practice for the Board of Selectmen to transfer money from one line in a budget to another line in the budget. But they could do well, hold that on, if hold they on, hold on, hold on, David, hold on. Why should I hold on? I'm having a conversation with her and I'm trying to get a clarification. David, 
we are talking about MIS. If you have something on MIS, that's fine. If you want to talk about default budget, just hold on. It's on the agenda further on, okay? So if you have something on MIS specifically, no? I have a question. Mr. Frank. On average, you allocated a 2% increase overall to the IT budget on wages. Is that correct? I know it says 2.39, I know the adjustment. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just asking a question. So you allocated it, basically the I didn't allocate, I, just, you, the I put in what in the, what I put in their current pay as of today, right. or as of the time that I built the budget. No, no, I understand that. that. that? I, I understood everything you said, but I'm just saying that you allocated <coughs> a 2% increase in salary, right? Because yeah. that's a what they have, And projected yes. it out, correct? I put in their salary right. as, it, as it is today. Okay. I have a question on this budget, please. Ms. Regina. 2018, we were on a default budget. Correct. The merit line item, can you tell me what page I can find that on in this? What it, where is it's that? It's under personnel administration. Okay. So for 2018, we had merit pay increases. We had budget of 25292 Yes. Okay, so the Board of Selectmen throughout the year, 2018, now this is for the public at home, decided to give non-union employees a 2% across the board wage increase with the exception of town manager and the assistant town manager that are not included in this line. So we took the money that was not, did not exceed that amount in the budget that was approved by the voters in 2018 and we moved it to reflect the salary line items in the respective budgets, correct? Is that what we did? So now that 2% for MIS has come from this 25,000 and gone over to the MIS budget under salaries. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Mr. Morrow. Isn't that what I was just asking about moving things back and forth and you just said it was moved from point A to point B? Which has been the history of how long have we been doing it that way? Raises work the same as the raises for union employees. If you have a separate okay. article or a separate budget line, and the money is taken from that line, the following year it's represented in the line item for that employee's salary. Except for one important distinction, right. at least important in my mind, Fred, is that the union wages are actually approved by the legislative body, namely town meeting. So are these. Those are approved by uh, the governing body, the board of selectmen. The, the amount. Is approved by the town meeting. The, the appropriation for the merit pay, yes. 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 The actual, right, right. the actual uh, direction as to where the money is going to go uh, is uh, generalized under merit pay, uh, which the board of selectmen subsequently allocates to individuals. Uh, which is a little bit distinct from the union contracts, which are specific to individuals based on their ranking in their union. But it works exactly the same way. It's very similar, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Mr. Wobber. I just want to clarify something the Selectman Barnes said. So, so the voters approve. We're working off the default budget. Right. So that's the number we use, the 25292 that we gave out $22,000. But you, you and Christy have actually proven the point that it really doesn't matter whether we have a budget or a default budget because the raises, the merit line is going to be there regardless. Is that true or not true? Well, that's what, yeah. Because that's okay. That's that's what I'm, that's yeah. the point I'm saying. So that's why we get back to that so discussion. Every line. Um, I have a question. I always get nervous when I, especially with this environment when I see the five-year plan to replace all the PCs within Town of the Pops. I don't see any plan. This will replace 19 P PCs. We went through this a couple of years, was it two or th four years ago, Tim, Mr. Chairman? I, I, when I see a line item like that, what, what is the plan? Are we, we doing some this year? Oh, well, good. We have a spreadsheet. Oh, good. And it goes out to 2021 right now, I believe. Um, and so, when they started this five-year replacement plan, they picked the, I think it's always right in the ballpark of about 20, mm -hmm. if you go back and look. Some years it's a little few more, some years it's a few less. They took the 20 that needed to be replaced the most at that current time, put those in, and then made a schedule going out based on that. We have three different categories of what we consider users. We have low, medium, and high. Um, the majority of the employees fall between low and medium. There are only, a handful, probably less than five 
that are in the high category. Um, we have a breakdown <coughs> that shows what a medium, low, and high user has, like i3, i5, i7 processor, how much memory they need. I'm not going to quote it all off because I don't know it all off the top of my head, but we do have sheets that have all of that in it. Um, Who decides so uh, at what year uh, a PC gets replaced? What year are we looking at? How many years? Do they have it for three years, four years? No, no, everyone has them for five. Five years? Yes. I mean, there could always be an exception if someone's computer like dies and stuff, but mm -hmm. the majority of them are, it's like a five-year rotation, so no one's <coughs> getting a computer sooner than five years unless something happens. Maybe their needs have changed or, um, I mean, computers do crash sometimes, so sometimes someone Life might get one Frank, off. Frank, Frank, hold on. Sometimes somebody might get one off of schedule, but that's not very common. And if that person does, then someone else we usually hold off on. You all set, Brian? Yeah, I, I just wanted Brian, to Brian, are you all set? <laughs> yes, thank you. Mr. Thank Frank. You. I just wanted to clarify. The yeah. average life expectancy of a computer is three to five years. And, the, and your not replacement plan marries that, you know, it's because not obviously five years, yes. technology changes along the board, so you should be replacing computers three to five years, including uh, hardware, right? And you know that, right? I mean, that's this, this, five year, this five year life cycle routine yeah. was uh, something that was endorsed by the once existing Selectman's IT uh, subcommittee. It was subsequently endorsed by the budget committee's uh, IT subcommittee. Uh, and tacitly approved by this budget committee as, a pro as the proper yeah, number. I agree, five as years. As a general rule of thumb. It's right. not an absolute. It's not three years, it's five years. No. I said five years, five. that's correct. Yeah. We do five, Brian. But, yeah. No, I know that. Oh, okay. Seriously, I said seriously as, as, a, as, a, as a person who's mm -hmm. in the field, uh, I look at a three to five year life cycle, period. This is green. But I'm looking for five to seven. You know, as much as I can. So I've had two PCs at Comcast yeah, in eight years. Would they replace the first one after five years? Well, I'm just saying it's five years as this industry norm. So. As we talked about that. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. I agree. Five years. I'm saying. Yeah, we're arguing over how much we agree, basically. So but not at three years. I mean, it, Any other questions ahead. or comments three, on three, two, MIS? Go ahead, Mr. Frank. I just want to make a clarification. I said three to five, not three years. Three to five, there was a break in between that could happen. Yeah, in we, we're all violently agreeing with you, Frank. Yeah. Any so other? I just want to clarify that. Any other questions or comments on MIS? Okay, I have some, uh, at least some observations. As you know, Christy, I've pretty much been silent on this budget for the last couple of years because you've been busy, uh, one conversation at a time, you've been busy, uh, you know, straightening out the accounts to be more accurate in terms of reflecting what the expenditures are for, and I've been basically leaving it alone for the last couple of years. But I'm just scanning through the detailed page on this. I'm looking at repairs and maintenance. You've got the purchase, apparently of uh, a lot of drives. Under repairs and maintenance? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Page 10. Page uh, 10. Yep, I got it. Um, and, and what I'm seeing there is a total of 42 disk drives totaling 95 terabytes of disk yeah. space. Those are used for, the majority of those drives are used for our backups of all of our servers and Firewalls and email and all of the things that they back up. Those dri that's what most of the majority of those drives are used for, if not all of them. Well, I mean, it's, based on the size, you've got like, uh, I don't know, five, six entries here, one, two, three, four, five, six entries of different size drives. 10, 500 gigabyte drives mm -hmm. is not suggesting that it's going to be used for server backups. The to 10 terabyte drives do suggest uh, a probable either a mirror drive or a backup drive. They use the two and they use the two terabytes for servers in video backups. Mm. Video backups? Video backups, yeah. What, what video does MIS deal with? The um, channel 22s But and isn't stuff? that, shouldn't that be funded out of the cable TV fund since it's cable TV specific? That would make sense, yep. I had to go ask them that, but um, it is that they do use the two terabytes for servers, too. Yeah, I, I, th I think it would be helpful 
okay. uh, to have uh, clarification on that during the course of between now and when we meet on January 3. Uh, also, you mentioned the PC replacement. You have a spreadsheet. If you could email that to us, that would be good. Okay. Okay. Um, under supplies and expenses, we've got wiring supplies of $5,000. I think that's been there pretty much every year, right? Yes. Why are we allocating so much money for a wire every year? Well, this year we rewired the whole public works department. Right. What are we going to do next so, year? <coughs> probably this building. Can I rewire this my building house hasn't maybe? been done. Be fine. <laughs> okay. Also, under supplies and expenses, you got something called tools. Tools. For a thousand bucks, I don't know what that means. Tools. And why should it be under supplies and expenses if it's tool? Where would you like it to be for I don't know a what tool. kind of tool you're talking about. So I think it's just whatever types of tools they may need in the year. I know I can't remember what we've bought in this year, but I know we have bought in stuff. Mm -hmm. um, they each have toolboxes, and I know we've bought wiring tools this year for sure mm -hmm. for, that they used when they were doing stuff at Public Works. Okay. Under uh, computer support, um, I see that we've... We have a, a bill for Comcast for $145 a month. And, um, yes, th and then another line here for a first light internet connection of 326 per month. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, the Comcast for 145 a month, that's not for internet access, that's for the TV itself. It doesn't, does it say that there? I don't know. I'm guessing. It's kind of a, I should have put a question mark. No, I think that the Comcast, I don't think I actually know. The Comcast is our um, backup internet connection. Okay, so our backup internet connection yes. is $145 <coughs> yes. a month. And our primary connection is First Light Internet. The First Light three, is the primary, yes. 326 yeah. per month. So I guess the Comcast connection is about half as fast, huh? It's very <laughs> slow. Yeah. But it is used. I'll look into that. You've got uh, an entry here. Um, Logmein.com, 900 bucks. I was going to ask that. Why didn't you? I don't know. I, I've waited That's for you. remote support offline, off the network. So that is so that if um, I'm working from home, right. I can get back into my uh, desktop here. Or if so, uh, I know sometimes the deputy director at DPW that uses that a lot. And then LogMeIn gives IT access if they need to get to our laptops to help us with a problem we may be having. So this is a support service. Yep, it's a remote support off network. Okay, with I assume a two layer login, your password plus some oh, yeah. dong dongle that gives you a number or something, right? Yes. Okay. They have separate, I have, Got it. I think I log in two, maybe sometimes three times depending on where I'm going. <coughs> you want to be remote, you have to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, just want to get clear on that. Mail server for $3,000. Yes. That's mail as in M A I L for those at home. Yes. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Should be actually email server, I guess, to be more accurate. Is okay. that software we're buying? I mean, we're we're paying for software, the three thousand dollars. Yes, and that's for a um, a new mail server. Yes, the three thousand mail no. server up here. Are you talking hardware or software here? Server license. So software. Yep, these are all. This should. Okay, because be you had been for years using some freebie job out there. Correct. And that's changed as of. We have a. We had a freebie one, then we had one that was like $1,000 or something a year, uh -huh. but we, um, they have since gone out of business, so um, this is a new, com would be a new company for us. Have you already uh, engaged them? No. This new company? We have not. Have you identified this new company? Nope. That's a ballpark figure for a couple of different um, companies that we've looked at. So we have no actual bid costs or bids no. or on anything on this, right? We have some quotes. Not we have quotes. Well, not quotes, but some. We have pricing. 
not we haven't like reached out to any companies and received firm mm -hmm. quotes but we have gone out looking for a replacement um, license for the mail server and it's in that ballpark of um, the three thousand dollars that's in there are any of those on uh, uh, cloud-based they are not okay. And of course, we have SAM, which is the uh, software application monitor for mm -hmm. $3,432 uh, piece of software, right? Mm -hmm. um, did we already acquire this? We have this, yes. We're operating under it now? Yes. Yep. And we actually have to pay for it every year? Yes. And what happens if we don't pay for it? Does it stop working? then we don't have that license anymore. Right. So we would not be able to get any support. Well, I don't believe the, that it would stop working immediately. I believe it would stop working if we needed support on it. <coughs> yeah, it would, it would stop getting support on it, Correct. but it would continue to work. I don't know if it would continue to work without renewing the license. Could you get back to us on that? Mm -hmm. Town Hall Firewall for $5,800. Also software, I assume. Yeah. And same question on that. What happens if we don't pay that? Will it stop working? Oh, will we simply lose support? Any other questions or comments on MIS? I have one other comment, which is under the new equipment. Um, I already hear we have another Warren article coming down the pike very soon to a theater near us. That's going to put out like a hundred plus thousand dollars. It's under a hundred now. Was it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Last year, 2018, we had a hundred twenty thousand dollar warrant article to buy a bunch of stuff, equipment, and we had budgeted for new equipment in the MIS budget for new equipment. So now we have two sources, and now we have another warrant article coming for some amount, uh, in addition to funding it here in the budget. Is that correct? This is twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty six. If, if yeah. they, or twenty six hundred. Sorry, if there's something small that they need during the year to. This is a, just another one of those category things. If we want, we could put that money anywhere in this budget. We are just trying to more appropriately reflect where things are being spent out of. So they have a new equipment line in case something comes up that they need new printers or new anything that's, that's outside of things that we already have. Yeah, I'm not it's objecting. Not gonna be I'm just saying that's why it's yeah. there. Um, the Warren article, obviously, we would never ask for an item in the Warren article for $2,600 because of the fact that it's minuscule compared to right. um, the budget. All right. Any other questions or comments on MIS? Thank you very much. Now we're moving on to